Hi everyone, today I want to show you a quick video what you can do with uh, terminal contextual help. So uh, the whole idea is that we use shortcuts, I mean keyboard shortcuts. If you're a heavy terminal user and if you're watching this channel you probably are, uh, you have a lot of shortcuts everywhere. Um, you have shortcuts in Z shell, in NeoVim, in the terminal itself, so there's a lot to remember. Um, so how do we go about it? Well, typically we forget something or don't know it exists and we have to go and search man pages or just search the internet, SKI, whatever. But with using just a few simple tools, I want to show you how you can quickly build your own uh, key binding knowledge base. So. The problem, of course, is too many apps, too many shortcuts. We don't remember all of them. There's no unified way to search and curate those. And the documentation is scattered all over the place in various man pages. So we are going to um, see uh, how we could build a really simple system that enables us to curate our own shortcuts or little help tidbits and uh, access them uh, in our terminal. So the goal is to have an instant quick access from anywhere uh, in the system, uh, be able to search for key binding or a shortcut you want or don't exactly remember, um, have a database-like structure where you can store all the bindings and also in a day and age of AI, you can also let your AI work with a file. So JSON, YAML, TOML uh, are good formats that you can think of. I like YAML for this because it's very easy to read. You could go for something crazy like RecUtils or other things, but that would be a little bit too involving. So YAML base data uh, with all the shortcuts. Uh, and we are able to browse all of them and display. So this is the goal. How could it look like in practice? Um, so we have um, either a terminal alias or better um, key binding. In my case, I'm using an application called AutoKey. Um, you, if you use Mac, it's probably AutoHotKey if I remember, but any other um, option would work like XBind or other bindings, global key binding. When I'm hitting global key binding, I'm essentially calling a script and this script just pulls data from, from my YAML file, which is a data store. I'm using FZF, which is, I guess, the most useful <laughs> tool uh, for terminal uh, and voila, and that's just how it works. Super simple. Um, you can, of course, edit um, data yourself into a YAML file, but again, you can just ask AI to do it and it's very easy uh, for AI to pull data from a man page or a web page and, and transform it into a YAML file, so you don't need to bother about it. So YAML structure is super simple. It just has a um, dictionary of app name, and then we have simple list, um, and then list of uh, keys, key value pairs for description and the binding. So the binding can be a, a key binding, as we'll see in a moment, or it can be like a small tidbit of help. Uh, an important distinction here, this is not meant to be a code snippet. For code snippets, there are other tools. Um, I'm using a tool called Pet Snippet, but there are a few more. And the idea here is that you can fuzzy find a command with obscure flags that you don't use that often. And you can just store it also in a similar file like TOML or YAML and then execute it uh, when you find it. This is a little bit different. This is more like help. So you know that there's a key binding you can do, like for example, how can you edit a terminal command in your default editor, which should of course be NeoVim. And the answer is Control X, Control E. Um, if you don't use it every day, you might not know it. So placing this in the file would be helpful. So let's switch to the demo, but the demo is really super simple. This is just how it works on my side. But I have it bound to Control alt h for help. And as you can see, this is a little bit small. Let me zoom it a little bit. Uh, this is just opens another alacrity window. It centers it on the screen. And um, 
immediately opens a fuzzy finder and I have currently 159 various shortcuts. So you can see first one is MPV. Um, I can search like this and you know if I don't remember how to go back or forward or whatever then I can just quickly check it. But I can also hit Ctrl G and this gives me all kinds of categories that I have in my YAML file. So if we were interested in Z shell, uh, we can do this uh, Ctrl X, maybe Ctrl plus X and Ctrl E. So you can see this edit command in current default editor that I mentioned. So so this is, this is quite handy. And um, what I added also, if I uh, hit enter on any of the key bindings, and if there is a um, man page for it, it will be opened and I can just, you know, read the man page fully, right? And with Q, I'm closing it. And that's the, the fastest demo ever. Um, again, the concept is that whether I am in a terminal or somewhere else, I can do this uh, and very quickly open, um, open my um, keys. Um, I have a parallel project to it, which works exactly in the same way uh, that opens my bookmarks. So it is, in my case, it's Control Alt L for links. And as you can see, it opens very similar um, kind of a window with all kinds of bookmarks. So I can access it from wherever I want and I'm not, I'm not bound to a browser. So the same concept, utilizing your terminal you can execute another terminal session, scalp the window a little bit, and open uh, FZF there, and you have a very versatile, globally accessible fuzzy finder with um, either bookmarks uh, that I showed you or uh, key bindings. Now, um, why not just SKI to give you the answer? Um, the more I use AI, the more I think it's better to use it to help you build a tool, especially if you're doing something repeatable. So this help or links, uh, this is a very good example. So you can ask AI to help you build a script to do this if you don't know how, although I encourage you to at least learn what could be done before you do it. Um, and then you can keep using it. I'm using this help and the links constantly um this is something that i don't have to rely on uh, ai or any other tooling i'm just building it inside of my workflow um so what are the components of the script by the way you can find the script as always in my dot files in script folder i will leave it in the video description it's uh, a bit involving there's quite a quite a lot of fzf gymnastics to make it work nice but it's not really that bad uh, you can definitely either do this yourself or again uh, ask claude or something else to to help you with it so the tools that i'm utilizing to make it all work there are two key tools one is yq this is a yaml parser uh, similar to jq for json fzf as i mentioned earlier for fuzzy search and in my case i'm using auto key uh, for all my global shortcuts and scripts. But any system you're using would work as long as you can create a global key and execute a script uh, through this key. Uh, you have seen a custom preview formatting and actions that FZF can execute on enter or adding additional bindings and so on. So you can do this in a really fancy way, uh, however you like. So the benefits of this solution for me is that I have a centralized, centralized and kind of curated set of shortcuts that I know I will use. So this is important for me, at least, that it's just not a copy of man page. It's not, um, you know, a copy of uh, Zishan man page or others. There are very special shortcuts and kind of small tidbits of uh, things that are not executable as a command, but it's either a key binding or like a one sentence reminder or something that I can use it for and I can quickly find it if I have to. And I do this very often for MPV. I don't, pl I don't uh, manipulate MPV that often with key binding. So I usually, you know, that was the motivation for me to create this at first place. Um, but then you can add, of course, anything to it uh, and then have your own custom 
key shortcuts and bindings and other tidbits that you want to have. So it's not a replacement for help, but uh, it's an augmentation uh, in of sorts. Searchable, of course, with FZF. You can add any app because it's YAML. And again, I find AI here to be very helpful. You can simply say, you know, take this YAML and add to it uh, these shortcuts, right? And it will, AI is very good at generating content uh, in this way. And you don't have to use um, expensive AI here. You can use uh, lower tier models um, to do this, like, uh, you know, Cloud 3.5 or I don't remember, whatever open AI equivalent. Uh, where you pay significantly less or even for free. So that's all of also the benefit. You you say you show AI to do something very simple. And because it's YAML format, it's very maintainable. I can put it in my repository and just carry always with me. So all this for me kind of you know it falls into this category of how I think about um, my digital sovereignty and data ownership. So in my mind, I strongly subscribe to the philosophy that as much as possible of your data should be plain text um, or, you know, open source formats that you can very easily decode and, you know, pull your data out. And uh, you manipulate uh, this data with open source tools. And uh, you can do literally anything uh, that advanced applications can do if you put yourself to it uh, within the terminal. And I've been living like that for quite a while and uh, subscribing to this philosophy. And it has been serving me well. I am not um, dependent on third party uh, companies to uh, you know uh, keep my data essentially hostage so so i control it and i encourage you to uh, find something that works for you and this is the same this is by the way a side point a little bit of a <laughs> side rant of the video but i think it just shows uh, this digital ownership um, in practice a little bit of documentation as always fzf yaml and autokey if you want to use those and that's it. I promise it's going to be a short video. That's it for today. I hope you've learned something and moreover got inspired by uh, this video and going to create something similar for your workflow. Thank you and as always, see you in next video.